everybody, this is Etho, and welcome back once again to the Project Ozone 2. No, I didn't forget about the series, I'm just, you know, the Minecraft release came out, I got Foolcraft going on, and I'm, I'm slow with making videos just in general, so it's been a few days. <laughs> but we're back, we're back. Uh, so if you remember, last episode we built this uh, mechanism fusion reactor, we got it hooked up, and... We're still trying to do the quest book here and the produce 10 billion RF per tick using non-creative means. The non-creative part of that is the real kicker. So a lot of you uh, pointed out, um, in order to do this, I made the lithium using creative means and also the heavy water. We just, we straight up have a creative tank here. <laughs> so we're kind of cheating there. Even if this was to make 10 billion RF, it's uh, it's not going to count, right? That's not the quest objective. Um, I tried, you guys said, to, to actually pump in the, the red and the blue fuel alongside the purple here. And I got it up to 88.29 million RF per tick. It seems to have stabilized there, which, you know, that's pretty good, right? That deserves a golf clap at the very least, I would say. But it's nowhere near the 10 billion. This is going to haunt me for the rest of the series, I think. <laughs> I don't know if I can do it, honestly. Um, it's like 100th of, of the quest objective. We could build 100 of these, but then we're still cheating with the creative means. So it's, it's going to be tough to do this. Somebody suggested I try out the nether star generators, the 64 times ones. So we're going to check those out in a second. Maybe that'll be an easy way of, of getting the energy. But we are also supposed to do, 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 do where did it go? I always lose stuff in this in this book. Surround your AE system. No, we're looking for turbines. Turbines. Oh, right over there. Construct the mechanism industrial steam turbine. So that is what we're gonna try to do here uh, next up. Uh, I got the stuff together to do it. Now if I put a if I put a Thing here is that gonna mess up the reactor? Did that stop it? Ah, oh, I killed it. Yeah, incomplete too. Oh, sorry, sorry, Texas. Sorry, 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 sorry. There we go. Um, I guess you can't put one there. Did it turn back on? Oh yeah, it's going. We're losing power though. Wonder why. Does it still have fuel? Oh, I think it just shut off. Yeah, it's it's done. What if I blast it again? Nope. <laughs> All right, I got to put the the thing to start it at the top here again. Well, I guess let's let's just add these two ports in while we still can here. All right, and I guess I'll have to restart it. So one of these is going to be for getting water inside, and the other one's going to be for getting the steam out. Is the plan here? So I guess let's move this over to there. All right, very good. So we got the reactor started up again. We got the water reserve pumping water into it, and it's actually not making steam quite as quickly as I expected. So it says there's zero water. So I guess it's using the water up as fast as it's being pumped into there. And you see the steam going up about a bucket's worth every second or so, right? It's not too bad. So the heat from the reactor turns the water to steam. And then I'm hoping it pumps out of here, but we'll see. Then we pump the steam into a turbine, and we can get extra power out of the reactor that way. Um, and I think the minimum size is a 5x5, five five, so we'll try that out. We don't need to make anything really good or crazy here. We just got to get it working, right? All right, so then we take uh, turbine rotors. All right, we stack these up. I think I'll go like six tall or something like that. And then we throw the turbine blades onto this. Isn't this cool? It seems like an, I'm an expert, right? Like I've done this a million times before, but I've never done it before. Incredible, right? Aha, <laughs> uh -huh. it's almost like I looked up how to do it. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then rotational complex goes on top of that. That's going to turn this thing. And then when the steam gets pumped into here, it makes the blades turn. And we got to also have a second compartment to the turbine here. And we separate the two using, not the vents. 
Uh oh. Not the condensers. Pressure dis dispersers. Yes. So we make like a seal between the two areas like this. There's going to be glass uh, on the faces here too. All right. So then we need to convert the kinetic energy into electrical energy. So we use these electromagnetic coils. And I don't know if we're allowed to totally block this up. Maybe I'll try it. I'm going to try it, actually. Make like a 3x3 three three of it. Um, so we insert the steam. I'm not sure if I can use structural glass for this or if I need another type. That's that's one thing I'm probably going to get wrong here. But somewhere here we have a, a valve to insert the steam, right? And it flows up through this area here. And then we got to vent out the steam so that there's a flow. I'm going to put vents all around here. Hopefully that works. And then I think we can just solid fill the rest of this with the casings, hopefully. Right? Am I doing it right, guys? Have you ever made one of these before? I'm guessing not too many of you have. Okay. And then I think that's the finished thing. How do we get the power out of here, actually? I don't know. What are these, uh, what are these things called? Valves. Type of turbine casing that includes support for the transfer of energy and steam. Okay, it does both. So maybe we can just like stick one of these on top and we'll pull the power out that way. Could that be a thing? We'll find out. Okay, f finish up the glass here. Well, check it out. So we got it all finished up, all sealed up here. And uh, yeah, it doesn't work. <laughs> Big surprise, right? Big surprise. I started out all super confident, and then uh, it just goes away little by little as I'm building the thing. So I was trying to figure it out. Like, what did I do wrong here? And I think, you see how the, the blades are kind of poking into the glass there? I think I made it too tall. Because every time you add more blades, it sticks out further and further. And I think there's a limit unless you make it like a 5 by or a 7 by 7 I mean. So if we just take off like two of those, I wonder if it'll work then. No. Okay. What if we just bust off the bottom here? You see they all kind of moved up there? It's still not finished though. Oh. Okay. Still no. Um... Well, it's a mystery. <laughs> How far do they stick out? Like, it doesn't look like they're going to hit the glass. Maybe they will. Try it again. Yeah, I don't think it's it's going to work. May okay, so I think I got to, like, shave off the bottom here and raise it up a block. Let's try that out. If that's not what it is, I'm probably going to have to look up what's wrong. Because I have exceeded my expertise here on the subject. Okay. Oh, it works! Yeah, this is too tall then, I guess. That's interesting, because uh, the turbines is st still the same height. I guess it, it just has a size limit. So for a 3x3 three three area, on the inside you can only have it uh, 5 blocks tall? Yeah. If you want any any more than that, you got to make it like a seven by seven base or bigger. All right, so let's pop out a glass, add this on again. It's going to be floating here, but you just add this on the bottom and it looks natural, right? And I can't get that dirt. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's just fill it in so it looks nice. Excellent, perfect. Still works. Nope, it doesn't work anymore. Okay, so you can't even use those for decoration. Now it does. Okay. Cool. We're figuring things out here. So I'm thinking maybe, as crazy as it sounds, I don't think the steam is actually a gas. I think it's a liquid. Because I don't see any in this gas tube here. So I'm going to try to just use the ender fluid conduits to pump into here, see if that works. I know for a fact steam is a gas, though, right? So I'm not crazy. Maybe I'm crazy. Okay, let's, uh, let's do that. It's spinning. Yeah, it's a fluid. Counts as a fluid. All right, you see it kind of filling up? I think it's getting a little bit hazy in there, too. 
So that's cool. Oh, you can see how much RF it has. So it's going up um, at a decent speed, right? Okay. I wonder how quickly this thing's running out of the steam. Statistics, no, over here. Oh, it's almost all gone. <laughs> okay, so it's using up the steam way faster than uh, we're producing it here. So we got to pump a lot more water into this thing to get it going. All right, well, I don't think it's very optimized. Like, I feel like that should be spinning a lot faster. Uh, it's not making a ton of power or anything, just a decent amount. But that's all we really need to do with it. I don't think we're going to get the 10 billion achievement through that. We'll have to try some other stuff, but we did do this. So that's that's important. All right, so let's head over to our main area again, home base. And we'll play around with the nether star generators, I guess. See if we can do it with that. So let's get those uh, recipes made. Yeah, because these would be really simple if it works. Um, so if, if you're not familiar with extra utilities, they have all sorts of different types of generators. Uh, there's one that runs off of nether stars and all their generators can you can combine 64 of them into a 64 times generator so that takes up less space uh, causes less lag and all that kind of stuff too which is nice okay so i just made the one times one just to try it out here see if it's worth our time uh so you put nether stars in here Ooh, is it just forty thousand? i was hoping for like a million <laughs> 40,000! Okay, let me do some math here. So we would do 40,000. This is just a one times generator, so we would times it by 64. That's like 2.56 million for the 64 times generator. And we take 10 billion and divide by that, right? Assuming I didn't, I missed a zero here, or didn't miss a zero, it's 3,907 64 times nether star generators we would need to make 10 billion RF. 3,000, like 4,000 of these 64 times ones. Not this one, the better ones. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> Is it actually 40,000? Yeah, it's actually 40,000. Because sometimes they say it's it's making a certain amount and then due to the config changes, it's actually more, but no, it is. it's actually that. Okay, we need something else. Okay, well, we've gone full circle here, guys. It looks like we're back to the Draconic Reactors. We've tried them all now. I think this is the lesser of the evils. We just have to stop it from blowing up. Remember last time? Yeah, so you guys wanted me to try to get this thing working better. I didn't want to touch it ever again, but it looks like we have to. Uh, to get that 10 billion, I don't know what else to try. Somebody said it is possible with this if I get it perfect. Even if it doesn't quite do it, we can just add more solar panels or, or whatever to get to ten, the 10 billion we need. So the mistake I made last time is I bumped up the fuel amount, not realizing just how much I needed to increase the flow amounts. Because how are you supposed to know unless you learn by blowing it up a few times? I don't know. I'm going to crank this up several million. So I'm going to add in max fuel again. <laughs> Oh, I hate doing this. We're going to charge it up. Instantly charge, because we're just... Oh! oh. <laughs> Freaky noises. We haven't started it yet, we're just charging it. Is this keeping up? Maybe I should go higher? I don't know. We'll go up to 25 million. 25 million. We're still not losing power from there. So solar panels are producing a ton here. Which is great. Or maybe it's... Uh, I don't know why they're keeping up, actually. Okay, I'm going to start it. It's going up! Oh, baby! Okay, so we got to keep these high. Uh, containment field strength needs to be high, and this needs to be high. And we want the core temperature around 8,000. So right now, we're generating very little power. As expected. Oh, okay, we're actually losing power now. <laughs> okay, so now we gotta bump this up to extract more power out of it without it blowing up. Okay, 200,000. I kinda gotta do it quickly before we run out of our, our storage vault here. 
Okay, gotta go more. I feel like it should be able to do a lot, right? Five million? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, things are changing. Things are changing. Can't dawdle, though. I'm gonna try to weaken the strength of the field. Because I'm losing power very quickly now. We're still okay. I can lower it more. Alright, guys. Well, I don't know about this thing. I've been playing with the settings a lot. Uh, I got it just about at 8,000. Um, I found out it'll shut down automatically if it has nowhere to put the power. So I set up an energy trash can here so that the this capacitor bank doesn't fill up and I just have to make adjustments here. <laughs> it's such a messy setup. Alright, now we're losing power again. Good, good. Okay, so I'm going to try bump this up some more, I guess. Let's go to 11 million. This is getting dangerously close to zero. But you see this, we're almost at like 9 million. It's pretty good, pretty good. I think we can go higher, actually. But, guess what? Uh, we are nowhere near the 10 billion again. I think this is a misprint. I think they meant to say million, right? Am I crazy? <laughs> There's no way you're gonna get 10 billion with anything. Like, this is almost... I feel like I almost got this right. And it's it's probably going to hit 10 million. That's it. Uh, I don't know. Although it seems like I can boost this quite a bit still. Without it really giving us trouble. No, this isn't changing, though. How come? Taxes, get out of there. I can't read the power. Um, yeah, I don't know. This... My adjustments aren't really doing anything now. Mm, I guess I'll try weaken the field again. Got that down to 4 million. It's not really changing. Like, I'm boosting this, but it's not actually doing anything, right? Because this is still 8 million. Okay, kind of a big moment here. If I misunderstood something, this is going to cause it to blow up here. <laughs> so, let's see if it does. Ah, why did it do that? I bet you the... F I think the gate was the wrong way. Ah. Doesn't matter, guys. It doesn't matter. It wasn't going to do it. I'm pretty sure there's no way to get 10 billion with that thing. Not even close. So, I am a little bit out of ideas... I don't know. I don't know. Oh, let's see if our dungeon's still there, actually, because one of our quests is to clear out the dungeon. <laughs> I should have set the reactor up here and just blew it up. Uh, I think this is the entrance to the dungeon. Oh, it is still here. Alright, let's go check this out, actually. Oh, it's been a while since I was here. Um, I need your guys' feedback on this. Right now, my only idea is to fill up a field with solar panels. I think that's that's still the best option. Because um, I can't find anything that'll do it. Okay, mine out an Aether dungeon entirely, except for unminable blocks or blocks you shouldn't mine at all. That is really loud, isn't it? Let's turn that down. So I think we gotta like mine everything. Uh, it's super dark in here too. There's a lot of stuff we can mine in here. Okay, I don't think we can break. Oh no, we can break that. Okay. What's this? Ice stone. Well, let's go, uh, let's just see how far we can mine. Like, if we're actually going to hit something we can't mine, I don't know. Because we have the this special pick. I think it just breaks everything, doesn't it? Oh. Blood Moss Holy Stone. Okay, so there is actually a border on this that we can't break. This is it. Yeah, you know, I don't think it's that bad of an idea, actually. <laughs> so I'm going to do it. Um, we got it all fueled up and stuff. It's running. Uh, I think... 
it needs a place for the power to go. Hopefully that'll do it. It's charging 10 million. Oh, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Hopefully I don't have to mine too much stuff now. Oh, it looks like a lot survived actually. Oh no, it didn't mine out the unminable borders at least. That's good, because otherwise I think we would have failed the quest. All right. Yeah, that did an excellent job, actually. Perfect cube. All the way up to here. Yeah, this is the only thing that survived. Um, I guess I can just do the rest manually. Should be okay. So check it out, guys. We got it mined out from corner to corner here. And listen to the ambient sounds. They play non-stop in this area. It's like one finish finishes and another one starts. <laughs> There's like nothing but darkness around, I guess. I don't know. I thought that was kind of interesting. Alright, so this is the only thing left in the dungeon that we can mine. Uh, the, the boss. The big bad boss over here. So I guess I'm going to mine out all this. Oh, he activated. Or not. Alright. <laughs> oh, hey, it's spawned in the door. Alright. I can't remember what the deal was with this guy. We gotta kill him with a pick, right? Looks like this pick works. Can he, can he not move outside of his invisible barrier? Because normally he stays in a room, right? Looks like he can. Okay. You can break the door. Oh, I can collect the door, too. Here we go. Nice. Dungeon conquered. I forget what he gives. Yeah, Skyroot Ring. Frost Pine Totem. Gives night vision. Oh, that would have been really nice earlier. <laughs> this area is so dark. Alright, I think we got to clear it out. Spawned in an, an exit, too. No, we're mining everything. Everything's gone. Alright, let's teleport out of here. Awesome, alright, so mine out an Aether Dungeon entirely, except for unminable blocks or blocks you shouldn't mine at all. Um, like, all that stuff was mineable, right? So, I, that's why I broke it. Blocks you shouldn't mine at all, like maybe the exit, I don't know. Um, it's up to interpretation, I think, because it didn't, it didn't matter if I mined it, because I could get out regardless, right? So, I think I should have mined it. Uh-huh. <laughs> I don't know. All right, I want to check it out and see if the dungeon responds here. Or if all the stuff's going to be gone. Oh, yeah, it totally regenerates every time. Interesting. Hey, you. One hit kill. Um. Oh, that's kind of cool. All right, so you can, you can do it as many times as you want. I guess we can just break down the door, too. <laughs> if we want to fight the boss right away. Alright, I think we're... Oh, we got the mob soul off that guy. Look at this thing. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's get out of here. Well, what do you think? Huh? Huh? We got ourselves some doors, finally. Maybe a little bit out of place, and you can't open them or anything. But uh, they look kind of cool. Uh-huh. Anyways, we got a little bit of time left here. We're going to try to do one more thing. Uh, use open modular turrets, railgun to kill an ender dragon or a wither. This is going to be fun, I think. So I got two railguns. I think they're indestructible, so I don't think the dragon can destroy them, hopefully. Got a little bit of ammo, some power for them. Um, I got this set to... Oh. Well, maybe not. All right, I don't know. Oh yeah, it's charging up now. Okay, I think that was the problem. Here we go. Like a boss. <laughs> Killed it right when we entered. Oh, okay, let's turn the sound down. So we gotta set this up to kill them very quickly, I think, just in case they destroy it. So let's get our stuff ready here. They're kind of going to be all over me, too, I think. 
Uh, maybe not. Okay. Put that on top. Get that there. Put this in. Aiming. Okay, let's let's kind of step away from it so they don't destroy it. Ah. I don't think it's doing that much damage, is it? or is it missing? I was killing the chickens. <laughs> um, can you focus? We don't. We don't care about the chickens. Just forget about the chickens. Just forget about them. Kill the dragon. Hmm. Oh, and it's destroyed. <laughs> okay. Maybe we should try the wither instead. I think this is going to be a problem. Oh, right away. Okay, so we got the railgun over there. I think it's trying to shoot him. He's indestructible right now, though. Oh, he spawned gas. Okay, let's get it. Did he... F he fell off. Ah <laughs> oh, man, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm gonna stay here so he doesn't fall into the void. Am I too far away? Oh, there we go, we got him. Whew! <laughs> Alright. That was one shot killer, right? That was pretty cool. That was pretty good. This thing is no joke. Alright, everybody. Well, I think that's going to be it for today's episode, though. But we did get another one of these done, which is good. And I checked out the math on this, the 10 billion. So if we were to use solar panels, we would probably use these 11s. Um, if they're non-upgraded... Well, if they're upgraded, it's 432,000. If they're not upgraded, it's 262. I think we should use non-upgraded ones because it'll take a lot of time to put the upgrades in, right? Um, and just lay out a big field of these things. So we would need 40,000 solar panels like this to hit the 10 billion, which is about a 13 by 13 chunk area, which is huge. <laughs> but it's possible, I think. It might cause a lot of lag, I don't know. But that's that's my best option right now, I think. That's my idea. Unless you guys tell me something else. That's my plan with this. Aha. Uh -huh. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed today's episode. Thank you for watching. And until the next one, take care. Bye-bye.